Leaking plants present a greater challenge than ball tanks for chlorine-free cleaning. This is due to the size of the plant and therefore the difficulty in attaining the targeted wash temperature at the end of the detergent step. The complexity of the plant, milk meters, large pipe sizes and the material used in the construction such as perspex which is more difficult to clean than glass or stainless steel. Again, for chlorine-free cleaning of milking plants, temperature is the critical factor. A good supply of hot water at 70 to 80 degrees must be available so that we will be able to achieve our target temperature at the end of circulation step of 50 degrees or higher. Remember, every 10 degree rise in temperature doubles the cleaning effect. If adequate hot water is available, or lukewarm water from a plate cooler or a heat recovery system, if you can do a warm pre-rinse at 30-35 degrees with this water, it will remove more milk solids, it will also warm your plant and thus reduce the temperature loss during your detergent step. You must also ensure that the correct detergent concentration is used. We must remember that chlorine-free detergents are heavier than our traditional products, so therefore we must adjust our dose rates and pumps accordingly. You will need to know the water volumes used in your detergent circulation. This is typically set at 9 litres per unit, depending on whether there's glass jars or not. The best way to measure this is via drum or a barrel. Also, it's very important when you're changing the chlorine-free detergents to make sure that you rinse out the suction hoses with water before you change over to a chlorine-free product. This will prevent crystals from forming in the suction hoses. When you're moving to a chlorine-free detergent, your wash regime is critically important. This is very important late in lactation when the solids become higher and therefore it will put most pressure on your chlorine-free regime. Biosil and Co-op Source have the full range of detergents for all your requirements, be it powders and liquids. Turboclean powder, Turbo Sand CF, Turbo Acid CF and Serpent. Biosil and Co-op Source have produced a very handy chart with the key points that are relevant to chlorine-free cleaning. Temperature, concentration, a good wash regime. And on the back, you have a weekly wash routine which sets out in detail the requirements for a good chlorine-free program. The robust chlorine-free program will entail seven hot washes, two acid hot washes a week, and no recovery of detergent. It will include parasitic acid in the final rinse. If this program is followed, you will achieve excellent TBC and Tamaduric results from your chlorine-free program.